I am, I, I am not satisfied that further general legislation is necessary at present. We do what we can. But the honourable gentleman must realise the enormous numbers of broad economic considerations that have to be taken into account. Humankind has a history of solving problems only when it's too late. This is probably our way of doing everything with minimum effort. There are all these amazing technologies well in our reach, getting to Mars, solving the water problems in Africa or the global pollution, but it's always a question of money and effort. So instead, great things are never getting done or are done at a very slow rate. Well, I have some bad news for you. We are not going to live forever. So unless we wake up and start doing things that really matter, we might run out of time. Backed with powerful sensors capable of detecting both the chemical and the physical harmful factors, Europe Monitor is an example of a complex piece of technology driven by motivation to help people solve the pollution problem. And it's not just about your neighborhood or city, it goes way up to global scale. The portable environmental monitor addresses pollution, the kind that we are unable to see but directly affects our health and can cause life-threatening diseases. Airborne toxic chemicals, radon and radioactive dust are correlated with cases of pulmonary cancer, asthma and heart disease. Since our biological senses can do little to warn us of such possible dangers, we have designed the portable environmental monitor as a first-line detection warning system. This is not the regular detector. Sensitive sensors are put to work to deliver all readings to the global Europe Monitor network using the integrated wireless connectivity. With a click, you see the entire world mapped in colors, hopefully as green as possible. comes with two additional hardware models. Model A, a radiation dosimeter that has been used and tested successfully for more than a year by 300 users worldwide. It's designed as a power-efficient fixed monitoring station. And there is the Kit-1 model, released as open source and addressed to those that want to build their own units with their own tools. The system will send automated notifications directly to your phone when dangerous levels are reached. Therefore, the project offers great flexibility, with more new hardware designs to be released in the close future. Plans include better targeting pollution in cities or centralizing data to the current global infrastructure. To feed this huge hardware development, a lot of effort has been channeled to research, a long process that started two years ago, covering electronics, sensor physics and software. New ideas are being tested to serve a final goal, control pollution and make our lives better. The first environmental surveillance solution that goes global, fully transparent to keep us all better aware of the environment around us. Already a finalist of two categories in the prestigious Hackaday Prize competition and the winner of Arad Innovation Fair this year, Urad Monitor is the next big thing in IoT.
come a long way getting the project where it is today. It works and it does a great job, but we need your help to speed up the development and increase the coverage. It's very simple. Get a unit and join the network. You get a dosimeter to monitor the quality of your environment 24-7, but you also support the work and research invested in this community project, helping it move forward.